Greetings, Delian. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> nice to be here. Yes. Nice to be here with you all. Uh, I'm Florida. Now it's Georgia. Uh, uh, I'm in Georgia. Georgia. Uh, yeah. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Yes. 
The nice shop you have bought with us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> there was some you want to share. There was you want to share with us tonight. Uh, um, no, 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 not really. Okay. okay, okay. God bless you. God bless you. Well, thank you for thank you for having me. Okay, you are. I appreciate being here and and um listening to the word of God. Amen. 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 Well, we're going to have a testimony now. After a testimony, we're going to go into the word. What would testimony like to share? Greetings again, everyone. Um, I've got testimony. Um, in the week, um, Pastor rang me and asked me to read the scripture. I think it was um, Isaiah. Was it 53, I think, Pastor? And yeah. it was about, you know, the, 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 um, this week, um, I think the topic was to do with, you know, forgive and move on with your journey. And, you know, when, when Pastor Winston asked me, I was sort of thinking, feeling nervous, thinking, oh, gosh, I'm shy. It's not me. I can't do this kind of thing. But Pastor did say he's going to pray for me. So anyway, he prayed for me and I did it. And I, he said, I can also expand on forgiveness. And I did that. And I sent it on, you know, the um, the prayer line that that Pastor Winston's got with Minister Kelsey. And, um, yeah, when I did that, I said, I wonder if I should send it um, to another site. So I sent it on this other sister's one, where it's my sister-in-law's, and a few others. And I couldn't believe it, Pastor. Mm. It, actually, that same scripture you, you told me to read, some people who didn't even message me before, could you believe it? That they was messaging me privately on, on WhatsApp and saying it really blessed them, that you, it's, it's a powerful scripture. Mm. And they was actually <laughs> talking, honestly sending audios to me, you know, talking about it and saying that they really touched them, that well done, it's been so encouraging what I've been doing and everything. And I said, oh God, I said to my sister in law, said, look, it's not me. It was a pastor that asked me to read the scripture and, you know, the Holy Spirit helped me to actually expound on forgiveness, but it really comforted a lot of people. They were doing a big topic on forgiveness on this site, and everybody was talking, people coming on with their audio and talking about forgiveness. Mm. And I was saying to my husband, I said, wow, you see how God works when you're obedient, although I was nervous and, yeah. and not sure I could do it, just doing what mm. pastor asked me to do. And people now was audioing me and saying that it blessed them and it made them think about their own, you know, situation of maybe not forgiving others. So, you know, I can only say, but thank you, Pastor, for even asking me because it's something that I don't, I don't do. I'm not brave to just come on and, um, you know, say things like that. And after that, it actually, my even myself, I, I thought, oh, let me um, read a scripture uh, the next day. And after the Wednesday, I had two that pastor asked me to do, but the third day, and I um, sent that on. And again, the people was encouraged, you know, was encouraged. So it just shows sometimes when you know you're obedient and you're asked to do something, even if you're shy, even if you think, oh, I'm going to sound silly, people are going to laugh, say, what is she, what's she talking about? Mm -hmm. You know, you just do what you're asked to do Amen. and you know god will take over the rest and it actually blessed people i, I was so shocked i had to tell my husband when he came in you know that everybody keeps messaging me that they're so touched i was really shocked so you know god is so good and i just felt blessed now to do something for the lord so you know when we keep busy for the lord you know it can bless other people because it's not really about me it's not ever, it's never been about us. It's not about, oh, because I'm shy. Oh, people are going to say this. You know, I'm not that important. I have to be thinking, oh, that's, it's almost like you're thinking of self and what mm. people are going to think. But when you turn it to Jesus, he will take over and he'll do the rest. So I don't have to be thinking, oh gosh, but someone's asked me to do this. Someone's asked me to sing a song. Someone's asked me to say this. I can't do it. What am I going to do? If I trust in God, he will take over. That's right. So, you know, that's my few words and my testimony of this week. And that was thanks to Pastor Winston because when he asked me, I was just, I was like, oh my God, what is he asking me to do? I can't do this. Amen. But I never like to say no. I like to be obedient because Amen. I have to leave it in God's hands. And um, yeah, it was a blessing to others, I can say, Pastor. So that it's good to be able to let you know what you asked me to do. It actually blessed others. And others were talking to me Amen. throughout the day about this same scripture. They really loved it so much. That's my few words. I go, I go and Rosie and Sister McLean, they you know that they, what they do on my group, the scripture, and they come in, I send to America. 
Oh, wow. I, I, I okay. want a prime line, a big prime line, beer and wine, with a load of people on. I want to send it to them. They come and say, Amen. And it's taking more Amen than London, not England. Amen. <laughs> that was nice, Pastor. They give me so much comment. Amen. They have to yeah. preach. They have to preach and that go to some time. And, yeah. And pray. And whatever you do for me, I send over to them. Amen. So when, they, when they make comment, I'm going to send to you. We can see what they say. Amen. 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 God is good. Yeah. And I'm very encouraged by Sister McLean's messages. Honestly, I'm telling you, Sister McLean, Sister McLean, when I hear what you say, honestly, I feel so encouraged. You know, so yes, it, it, it is an encouragement, definitely. When I see people don't say that on London, and my watch, my group don't feel no way. That's what you said to me, Pastor. You said to me that people must not say anything. And the funny thing is, <laughs> you, when you said people were not say something, people were saying stuff on the other things to me because I just said, let me send it over to another person because you said to put it on to your one and to do it. And I thought, well, why not me just try and put it on somewhere else? And that's when they started commenting. And as I said, you people were privately and saying it really touched. I was so shocked. And that was the same day when it happened. I was really shocked. So, yes, I agree with what you're saying, Pastor. It can be a big encouragement. I just want to add, I think it's a wonderful thing, you know, what we are doing actually, because as I, um, I like to comment on uh, maybe Sister McLean, I've heard some of those people who have, um, are quite inspired by her faith. You know, when she speaks and when she makes her testimony. I think God has blessed her in a way that she can encourage a lot of people. And we all can do encourage, encourage others. Because yeah. people need encouragement. You know? Because no, when, we, no, when we pick up the phone, look on the TV, it, there's no good news coming through. Nothing good. Nothing yeah. good. You ever pick up the the, I don't read the papers, but anything you pick up in the news or anything, it's nothing good. So it's good when we can bring some good news to the to the world, you know. And people want to hear good news. People want to hear that God heals. People want to hear that God delivers. People want to know that God supplies our need. People want to hear it. Uh, yeah. The Bible says, how can they preach unless they are sent? I think Sister McLean and I was discussing that very thing. Um, a few days ago how can anyone preach unless they are sent so we have that power because God has given us that power and the world needs what we've got and we've got to realize how much the world is hungry for the word of God and many people as though we may talk many people do not know how to access, access the word of God yeah. even though it's on the television and everything and you know you have international ministry and so forth but we have the word of God and people need the word of God the world, the world needs it this is why Jesus said to the disciples go ye through all the world and preach the gospel to every Amen. creature to every creature so we each and every one of us have a job to do and we have to realize that our job is effective once we're doing it in the Lord. Amen. Amen. And we're Amen. blessing some people. We may not know who. We may not even, they may not even count to us. We may not even count to us. But the voice is going out. The word is going out. And God needs, the, God is counting on every one of us, brethren. Amen. 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 I'm so blessed by you, you guys' word of encouragement. And um, uh, also, you know that I'm on um, four different groups. And one group where I am, every morning I can pray. Every morning call me phone. Mm -hmm. Even Sunday morning, when I'm getting, they call me five, no, five, no, six. Six, every morning, six. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I go, I'm not tell her, I want to go on sometimes and say, oh, come here this morning. I'm going to do on to my phone. Because I said in the morning, the full morning, mm -hmm. seven days a week. So I love to pray. I love to pray. I love to pray. 
Amen. I have a prayer. I have a prayer where we are. She passed and gone now. And then we sit up and use it. Now, man, I can't have man, I use it. It bless my soul so much. Now she's gone. But God always send somebody else. Yes. Now I'm on a different group now. That come every morning, every morning, six o'clock, my phone ring. Mm -hmm. And I'm so encouraged that there's somebody mm -hmm. there. I go with this there. From tell me to come and pray, come on and pray. When? And I tell me to come and work. I work sometimes. And some of them can't manage this year. And some of them are fighting. Get <laughs> up and even put the, put the um, mute, tell them to mute it. And lie down in the bed and listen to everything that's going on. It's just a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing. And I love to get involved. In the work of God. I just love to pray and fast and call upon Jesus Christ. Because you have done so much things for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to look at the world now. We're going to look at she's a Kelsey's coming to bless our soul. Because I want to encourage me what we just read. Amen. John chapter 9. Mr. Kelsey. Uh, I give him give us two in five minutes. It don't have to be long. In your own way. You can come, come here, you can come here, go here, and you want to buy food. Then come now. works of him that sent us while it is day, the night cometh and no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Um, I just love these two verses here. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize that they are actually the light of the world mm -hmm. because our lives is what people actually read. So we can be closer, so they can come to know who God really is. And when we when we behave in a negative way, I was talking today about the odor, the fragrance that we give off. But when we behave in a negative way, that negativity is what the world sees. And we must. Last week we talked about do not sin against God. When we sin, we are sinning against God. And when we give off that negativity we bring a form of darkness to the world and we are supposed to be the light of the world and we must think we must think about our attitude think about our action because when we give off darkness we are bringing a blindness to who our god really is and our god is not a god of blindness our god is a god that can see he sees everything. He knows everything. He is the omnipresent. He is the omniscient God. He is the God that knows everything. He goes everywhere. He knows our thought before we even bring it into perfection. He knows it. Before we even think something, he knows it. And while we have the breath in our life, we are supposed to be working for the Lord. That's what the breath that we have is all about. You must work his work. And if you're not working for him, then you're working for the enemy. Mm -hmm. And I say to people, they may not realize, but the Bible tells us that you cannot serve two masters at the same time. You will love one and hate the other. So it's either you're for God or you're not for God. Yeah. 
It's either you are the light. Amen. It's either you light of the world or your darkness of the world. And if you're the light of the world, then you're supposed to be shining to let others see and want to know who your God really is. I mean, when Joseph had the um, opportunity to find himself in a position where Potiphar's wife thought he had him because of circumstances, mm-hmm. that he will not sin against his God. And we need to find ourselves in a position where in the world, that's our position and a time for us to shine. Let us shine for God because he is the light and we're representing the light. As long as in the world, as long as you're breathing a breath, as long as you call on God's name, you are supposed to be the light of the world. And that light is supposed to drawn out of the Because darkness cannot tolerate the light of God. As long as you've got the light of God inside of you, it will burst through to draw others to find out what is it about you. And I talk about the fragrance and the odor that we give off. And if we give off an odor, I talk about it in church today, if you give off an odor of aggressiveness, that odor is, God is not pleased with that odor. Yeah. So we're supposed to be giving an, give off an odor of love, of peace, of joy, of contentment. And as as you're giving off the opposite, then you're representing darkness. Because the word of God is here actually tell us, as long as I'm in the world and the light of the world, what, are we, what fragrance are we giving off? A fragrance of light or a fragrance of darkness? A sweet smelling odor that going up to the Lord or one that is constantly stench for him to turn up his nose and rebuke us? Which one is it? If we represent the light, then let's stay in the because you cannot be in the light and in darkness at the same time. Yes. And I just mm-hmm. want to be, encourage your heart. If God is God, then serve him. Mm-hmm. And if Satan is your God, then with him you are serving. Because you cannot serve two masters at the same time. Mm-hmm. It's either you're in the church or you're out of the church. Mm-hmm. And I'm about being in a building. I'm talking about belonging to God. That's what I'm talking about, because some people will run from one church to the other, from one building to the other. Mm -hmm. But you must remember, if you are the light of the world, then represent the light. Let me see your light. Because the breath you're carrying, you're supposed to be representing God. And it's my few words to you just to encourage you and to let you know that once you come out of the world, once you come out of that darkness, you are now seeing. A person that is blind cannot see anything. They depend on others to tell them whether to go to the left or to go to the right or to tell them how everything looks. Once you come out of darkness and you're seeing the light, you are now a changed person. You are now seeing what God really wants you to do. And don't tell me you're still in a state of darkness and yes, still you're saying you're in the light. It cannot be. We have to make up our mind. It's either we have received a sight or we have not received our sight. Which one is it? What fragrance are you giving off to the world so the world know that you're serving a great, big, wonderful God? Are you giving up an odor of sinfulness, darkness, an order that it doesn't belong to a child of God. That, that representation, only you can make that because the world is looking on you and the world knows it. Because when a person is in sin, when they see sin, they know sin. So you're only fooling yourself. You're fooling yourself because even the enemy knows. The enemy knows when he's got you. And if you're still in sin, the world can see that still in sin. Amen, saints? So let us remember that we are representing the light. And as long as you have the breath of God in you, you should be representing the light because you are that light that the world is looking for. Amen. May God bless you all in Jesus' name.
Amen. 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 Thank you, Major for your wonderful word of encouragement. Yeah. But I'm going to do a bit of encouragement too. Just please pray for me. As I do, and I, I, I want to hear some God say I'm clean. Amen. After, after I speak, say I'm clean. Yes, okay. Pastor. Just pray yourself. I call it. Let me finish first. Um. The word of God said in John 9, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from birth. Yeah. And in the time asked him, say, Master, who did sin? This man, this man, or his parent, that he was born blind. Jesus answered, neither had this man sin, nor his parents, but that the work of God should be made manifest in him. I must, verse 4, I must work the work of him that sent me for this day, for night cometh when no man can work. Um... When Jesus was passing by, he saw a blind man. Jesus don't miss nothing. As he walk around, he can see everything that's going on. He can see when you're sick. He can see when you're sad. He can see when you're glad, when you're happy. Jesus don't miss nothing. And this time, ask him a question. It's a master. Who did sin? This man. Or his parent. Um, I have a sickness. I'm sure. And sometimes people think I, I commit a sin. I commit something wrong. That's why I was sure. Some criticize. Some say this. Some say that. So yeah, this is the type of question Jesus. I was asking Jesus a question. Who is him? And Jesus answered, verse 3. <coughs> sorry, sorry. It's okay. Verse 3. And mm. Jesus and Jesus answered, neither he had this man sin or his parents. But that the work of God should be manifest in him. Well, brethren, I look up the word manifest. One second. Fulfill. It means not manifest in my dictionary. It means display. It means show. It means ex exhibit. Mm -hmm. Demonstrate. Mm -hmm. So that God work that God should be made demonstrate in him. Oh, that work is to demonstrate. Display. That one is demonstrate. So when I'm sick and I'm healed, people can see that God do something yeah. special. That's right. That do a miracle. Yes. That glory is demonstrated to me. That's right, yeah. that's right. And by people see it, I'm here. It was a weird. We stand here. We stand show the rest of that poor. Then we see one straight in me. That's the world right. know oh. that God poor is stand here alive. Amen. Poor working in me. So Jesus said, He answered, Neither had this man sin. Or his parents, but that the work of God should be manifest in him. Mm -hmm. So we may criticize the case of sin. Are we that a sin? Are we that a sin? They're wrong. I used to feel guilty mm -hmm. sometimes. And I say, what well, no, if I do something wrong? That's why I'm sure. What if I sin? Mm -hmm. I'm sure. 
I'm doing something I don't myself. But I'm stuck down in my sin as I read this scripture. That oh. God may manifest mm -hmm. himself in me, through me. People will say I know that God is working to Winston. And yeah. God why is still working. Mm. Amen. And he said in verse 8, as long as I am in this world, I am I, I, as long as I'm in this world, I am the light of the world. Jesus is the light of this world. The queen is not the light. King Charles, King Charles is not the light. No, no. Prince Harry is not the light. No. Uh -huh. The Prime Minister is not the light. No. What's her name? Um, Liz. Trust. Trust. <laughs> Trust. Is not the light. No. <laughs> is not the leader. Is not the, the one that saved us. No. Is not the one that keeps us alive. No. They no. shall die one day. Yes. Uh, Queen dies, she's right there. Oh, God. What does she carry with her? Mm -hmm. I see people queue up for. This, mm -hmm. hey, I want, hey, I want to tell you that, my friends. I see it's some people dangerous. wait from overnight. In the cold, it was cold and in the rain. Mm -hmm. Tent, doesn't see a, a coffin. <laughs> Where's the time? Where's the time? Yes. Oh. Where's the time? Yes. Yes. You can even see the coffee, though. Just a show they love. It's crazy. Well, you can have a coffee. It's crazy. No, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not crazy. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I would never do that. No. If they want to do it, that's fine. But mm. for me personally, I would never do that. And if King Charles died, I would never do that. No. I spent time praying to God. I spent time fasting. I spent time singing. I spent time doing this, what I'm doing, in a small way. Yeah. Show my love to God in a special way. Because God has done so much for me. Mm -hmm. He has healed me. He has delivered me. He has touched me. So these prayer Pharisees always question Jesus. All the Lord's in question. They have so much question. And just have a lot of answer to give them. And just know what they're gonna they're gonna ask him before they ask the question. Mm -hmm. I must work the work of him that sent me while this day. We too have work to do. We too have a job to do. Yeah. By you reading the scripture and the, and the um, Prior life, it's a job. It's a ministry. Tell my cleaner, you hear me? And do I know those scriptures are there, right? They're all over the world. All over the world. You don't, you don't, you don't know where the mayor is. So keep on doing what you love to do. Keep on working. Keep Amen. on praying. Yes. Keep on going to church. God, the light Amen. is there. Jesus is there. I'm there, yes. Why not come to church for Pastor Winston? They're going to church for Sister Kelsey. They're going to church for Sister Rose by Mr. Thompson. They're going to church for Jesus, who is the Lord of the world. That's right. Who is the creator of the universe. Amen. Yes. I am not a am. Who is the road of Sharon? Who is the lady of the body? Who is the bright of morning star? Yes. Who is the king of kings? And the Lord, Lord of the world. Let's come to work. Let's come to work and do our part in our own way. Our own yeah. small way. Okay. God bless yeah. you. Mr. Buckley. And what you did. Say, say a few words. Just a few words. And Mr. Thompson. A few words from you too. Amen. Oh. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, mm. and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Mm. I just want to greet the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And greet you, my beloved Pastor McCann. 
Minister, yes. mm. Minister McCann in her absence. Brother yes. Thompson, Sister Thompson. Greetings. Mother Nailers. Sister Rosemary Steele and Brother Thompson's son. Greetings. I just want to greet you all in the sweet and matchless name of Jesus Christ, the yes. Lord. Yes. Thanking him for his grace and his mercy. Had it not been for his grace and his mercy, none of us would be here tonight mm -hmm. to be in, in this wonderful meeting on the Zoom. We can meet again with our loved ones. Praise God. Lifting up holy hands mm -hmm. to the King of Kings and to the Lords of Lords. And as the songwriter reminds us, we are together again just praising the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And it's a pleasure when we can meet in this session to share the word of God and to encourage each other. As I sit and listen to Sister Rose was giving her praise, praise testimony about reading. I when I read it, when I really looked at on the, the, the prayer line and I listen to her. I said, oh my God, not she this way shy? But <laughs> anyway, I said I was going to message her, but I said, I'll, I'll leave it. And I was listening and she was saying, she was um basing on love. You know, she was pressing on love and forgiveness, mm -hmm. bitterness. And that's what is killing us as believers today. Yeah. Even though we still we see and we are testifying we are God church. Mm -hmm. We still carry bitterness, resentment. Yeah. And it's a silent killer. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Even now um, the scripture that Pastor McCann gave I was talking to um a miss um someone from Jamaica and they were talking about a sister in the church keeping malice mm -hmm. and they're um they singing and um speaking to a prophesy, and this sister said she yeah, is she, she when she go for um to come to talk about the past and the past a wife oh my God she says a disgrace mm -hmm. and I was telling her you know this morning the scripture that I read and the topic which was it is um is um learn to forgive and move on your journey and if yeah. we don't forgive i don't know but if you don't forgive i with myself if i should have anyone in my heart i'm heavy i can't worship the way that i should yeah. worship there is something bugging me there is something keeping about because you know what i have a life conscience mm -hmm. yes. you know but everybody have to know who jesus is for themselves yeah. That's you know right. Bless the Lord. And as oh, we look at the scripture here tonight um, about this blind man. And I uh, look at um, verse 6. Um, when he had thus spoken, he spot on the ground and made clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Silo, which is by interpretation sent. He went, he, he went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seeing. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Praise God. When Jesus touch us, when Jesus cleanse us, we cannot remain the same. This man was blind. And you know, when a person is blind, it's like the whole of your life is gone. For you can't see nothing. What you can't see to walk, you can't see where you're going. Somebody have to lead you. Mm -hmm. Somebody have to direct you. Somebody have to protect you. Even in your in your food that you may be eating. You don't know if it if it is clean. You don't know if flies in it. Yeah. You don't know what is it. 
but you have to eat it because you can't you cannot see there is no way out for you so you have to just satisfy but this man in those times jesus anywhere he went he was doing good for what he came into the world to call sinners to repentance and so this so this blind man jesus put on the, the, the ground and take his spittle it looks so foolish <laughs> somebody blind and you're going to spit there on the ground and take the the, the the dirt and put it on their eyes and you know but jesus know what he was doing for he is the healer of the world and he he on Jesus anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And I would say in my thinking and my belief, from the moment Jesus put the clay on the blind man's eyes, his eyes began to open. That's how I think his eyes began to open. And he said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Silo, which is by interpretation sent he went his way therefore and washed and came a seeing he was obedient mm. and his faith and because of his faith because if he did not have faith and believe he would not have received his sight but because he believed and the faith in him he went and he had was to wash before he could get his healing praise god and so we here as as children of god mm. we may be going through some sort of sickness and feel that it's uncurable and feel as if there is no way out and we wouldn't get healing we can't get healing because Whose report do we believe? Because the doctor may have given us some medication. It's not working. Because some medication, what the, our doctor is giving us now, is not to our condition. They gave us, just gave us, as given, as given tablets or mm. medication or yeah, maybe an injection. Yeah, so. yeah. But the healer, Jesus That's is right. the healer. Yeah. Our Lord. Praise God. And when him say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. And when it can touch you, it makes a difference. Yes. Nobody else can touch you. And as I heard Pastor was saying, the queen died. People was was grouping up, grouping up, sleep over my spend hours. People <laughs> will cheer. <laughs> just the casket. Are the place where they're going to lay the queen, and she's not the light of the world. No. Neither, neither, neither um, King Charles, neither, <laughs> neither William. That's right. Or, or, or um, Harry. None of them is the light of the world. That's right. No matter how high you see them going, yes, they are kings and queens, and princesses and prince. They cannot be the light of the world. There is only one light of the world, and Amen. that is Jesus. And he has gone back to his home and I. Yes. An intercession for you and me. Yes. And so we know, as believers, we are the light of the world. That's right. We are to shine yeah. the light. We are his eyes and feet and hands. Yes. We are yes. the light of the world. Because we are the children of the Most High God. That's right. So Amen. let us continue to shine our light. Yes. It doesn't matter what the people of the world might say. Mm. My Amen. sister and my brother hold fast and never let go. Be Amen. that light. Be that light to someone that is in darkness. Yes. Say a word of encouragement. Yes. Yes. When you're going on the street, you maybe see someone looking at lingering, mm. looking as if they are not a, a, a part of society. Stop and say good morning. Can I help you? What do you need? Yeah. Some will ignore you. Some will say I'm hungry. And you start to, just start to talk to that person. 
and tell Jesus loves you. It happened one time I saw this girl and she was crying, yelling out at the bus stop. And she, I don't know if it was her sister or some family friend. It's a white girl and they were holding her. And she was there ailing out, crying out. Everybody was tearing down on her. And no, it's like she was uncontrollable. And you know, I went down to her and I asked what, you know, everybody was scared. I, I don't know where I get that braveness from, but I go down to her and I started to talk to her and I said, Jesus love you. And she said, nobody never tell me so, ma'am. Nobody never tell me so. Amen. And, I, and I calm her down, I calm her down until she get under control. Everybody was looking at me. You know, I don't know where they get that boldness from because everybody's scared and moving away from her. But well, I just go there and they calm her down and tell her that Jesus loved them. And you know, everywhere I go, I would tell somebody, Jesus loves you, you know. Yeah. And I would tell him about the love of God. Yeah. And even sometimes I'm walking on the street, I'm just giving God praise, I'm just giving God thanks. And say, thank you, Lord, for That's your right. mercy. Right. Thank you for your grace and merited favor. Thank you, Lord, for one more day. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Because those that have gone on before, my age, many of my companions that I go to school with, many of them, they are weak, sickly walking with speak. They doesn't look like me. You know? So God's grace and mercy and merited favor. Hallelujah. So each day that I wake up to see, I say, yeah. thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Coming from a rough side of the mountain. Mm -hmm. Had it not been for the Lord and my side, I don't Amen. know where I would be. And as I heard Pastor McCann was saying, healing, healing is the children's bread. Healing belongs to us. That's he right. was wounded for our transgressions. And he was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace were open in. And with his stripes we are healed. Pastor Megan, God will heal you. Yes. You yes. send yes. your testimony. Yes. The doctors gave you over. Tell your wife to call the families because you yes. wouldn't make it. And look at you now. That's right. That's what, right. Who Jesus. could it be but Jesus? That's right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm Thank sure you your speech is coming much God. better than before. That's right. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. On. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And your deliverance is in the Amen. name of Jesus. That's right. And That's with right. your brethren behind you, yes. with your brethren behind you, they are mm. praying for you. Amen. They are we praying, are praying for you, for you, you, Pastor. Amen. I pray for you. And I know by God's grace, Amen. even one Amen. of the prayers, everybody pray. Amen. Even yes. one of the prayers, God is going to answer. That's right. So don't give up and don't give in. Hold on to your faith. That's right. God bless you. I keep you my brethren. God bless you all. As we continue to lift up the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is the strong tower. And the righteous. Enter into it and... They are saved. God bless you all. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God is good. Uh, I just want to come to end a few words and clo close in prayer. It's um, 20 to 10. Because a few words, Mr. Thompson, and close in prayer. Amen. 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 Well, God bless you all. God bless every one of you who are here on this Zoom service. God bless you for your encouragement and, you know, your works of labor, which is your labor, as the Bible says, not in vain. It's a very wonderful word, wonderful scripture, and um, everything that has been said so far has been a blessing to me. And, um, you know, and I'm looking... I'm looking at verse 10 for a short as um, I'm away over time. Verse 10 of the same scripture says, Therefore say, said they unto him, How were your eyes open? And he answered and said, A man that is called Jesus made clay, anoint my eyes, and said unto me, Go to the pool of Shalom 
and wash. And I went and washed and received my sight. Um, I know um, Sister McLean has spoken about this, but my, my thought is that um, it is not the clay and it's not the pool, but it's the man. The man that oh. gave the order. The faith. The man that gave the order. And the obedience to the order is oh. what made this man oh, could see. Jesus said, mix the clay and said, go wash. How did he find his way to the pool? He's been blind for his, from his, from, from his, from the moment, from the moment he was born. From the moment God said, spoke to him, his eyes began to open. Amen. His eyes began to open. He found his way to the pool and he washed and came back seeing. And you know, it, it just encouraged us to know how powerful our God <laughs> is. And as you know, we encourage Pastor Magan to, are uh, holding up your hands in faith? Knowing that uh -huh. God is going to work for you. And uh -huh. if we believe, God will work. Because God honors his word above all his name. Yes. So we're holding up Pastor McGann's hand. And believing uh -huh. him for complete, believing God for him. For complete healing. Uh -huh. Jesus does so many miracles. When he was on earth. And he's a miracle working God. He's always been a miracle working God. And so we believe in God for a miracle. A miracle is coming, brethren. Brethren, a miracle is coming. We believe a miracle is coming. And we Amen. believe that Pastor oh, McGann, Mr. Pastor McGann will get full deliverance and healing. And I have all faith that God will do the work. Oh, sure. He will. He will, my brethren. He will. God bless you. I'm going to just call up. I'm um, just going to call upon the Lord on behalf of all you, my brethren, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, you Lord. deserve it. Hallelujah. You deserve it. You deserve it. And yes. like true Pastor again. The Queen of England didn't deserve it. The, queen, the King of England does not deserve it. Prince Harry, Prince Charles, whosoever they are, only Jesus alone deserve it. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks. We give you praise. Praise. We bless your mighty name. Hallelujah. We lift you up, Lord, because you are God all by yourself. Hallelujah. You are the creator of all that we see, and even those things that we can't see. You are the creator of all things. You are the beginning and the ending. And we thank you, Lord, that we are able to communicate, to have fellowship with you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for everyone that is on this Zoom service, Lord. We thank you for everyone who has taken time out to participate in this Zoom service. Lord, we are here to give you praise and to acknowledge you for who you are, for what you've done, and for what you are doing for us. Bless each and every one. I pray for Sister McLean that you continue to bless her and use her. Use her to your praise and to your glory. Hallelujah. Let your anointing be upon her. Hallelujah. And upon her family. And Lord, she has received so many bad news over the years. But Lord, I call an end right now. I destroy every bad news that shall come her way. In the name of Jesus. I ban the forces of darkness. Hallelujah. Forces of disappointment. Hallelujah. And I claim victory in her life right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for her, Lord. Bless Sister Clear Mills. I pray you bless her right now, touch her right now, cover under your blood right now, anoint her from the corner of her head to the sole of her feet. Bless her husband, Brother Mills. Lord God, let your power and the anointing be upon them. Lord, touch them, Lord, from the head, front of their head to the sole of their feet. Grant deliverance and complete healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To every bone, every 
organ in their body in the name of Jesus and we thank you and we claim victory and we claim deliverance hallelujah in the name of Jesus I pray for sister Steele right now Lord Rosemary Steele that your hand will be upon her thank you for touching her thank you for her faith I pray you continue to guide her and be with her and lead her Lord and they give, give a complete deliverance from all those who speak it against her, Lord. And help her, Lord, to be, hallelujah, to be the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. Bless her coming out and not going in. Amen. In the name of Jesus, touch my wife, Sister Rose Thompson as well. Bless her, Lord, I pray you will continue to use her to your praise and to your glory. Lord, I pray you will anoint her lips. I pray you will touch her ear. I pray you will grant complete healing right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be healing. Let there be deliverance. Hallelujah. Give her another testimony, my God, and use her to your praise and to your glory. My son is on here, Lord. I pray you will touch him. I thank you for him. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Many young men don't have any time for you, Lord. But, Lord God, I pray you will reward him. Amen. That he's taken a time out to be with us on this tell and this Zoom service. Bless him, Lord. Bless his coming in and bless his going out. Hallelujah. From henceforth, even forever. Lord God, and I pray for Pastor Mag Magan. Pastor, hallelujah. I pray your hands will be upon him. I pray your anointing will be upon him. Lord God, I pray, Lord Jesus, you will. Touch him, Lord Jesus. Every sinew, every organ, every every vein in his body. Lord, I pray you will touch that hand. Amen. Right now. And let there be healing. Oh God, let there be deliverance. Hallelujah. Let there be victory. Complete healing in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you in advance. We thank you in advance for the work you're going to do. We thank you in advance, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God in the high. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Hello, Messiah. Alabasito. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Healing. In the name of Jesus. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, Lord. We thank you for it. Pastor Winston, we thank you for your son. We thank you, Lord, and we claim the healing right now. We claim it. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let your work be manifested in him. Let your work be manifested in this man. Oh, God, Lord, you know his faith. Let your work be manifested in him right now. Let your power be displayed in him right now. And we thank you for it, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we claim the healing. We claim the healing. We claim it. We claim it. We claim healing. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, and we give you praise. And we give you glory. And we give you praise. And we give you glory. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the victory. You have given us the victory, Lord. You have given us. You have thank given us the victory, and we thank you for the victory. Amen. Forever. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Minister Kelsey, bless her also, Lord. Touch her, Lord. Use her to your praise and to your glory. And thank you for your children. And I thank you. And I pray a blessing upon everyone, oh God. And our family and our loved ones, Lord God. We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We say thank you. We say thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. In Jesus' He's all name. the world to me, my life, my joy, you, my Lord. all. You are my friend from day to day. Without you, I will fall. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Glory, you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Oh Lord, Lord, I thank you. Oh Lord, glory, 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 glory. My life, I see many things you have done for me. I thank, thank you. you. Oh Lord, Lord, Lord I thank Hallelujah, you. Oh Lord, Lord, I thank, thank you. Oh Lord, looking back in my life, I see. Many things you have done for me, I thank, thank you. you. Oh Lord, Lord, I pray thee. Oh Lord, Lord, I pray thee. Oh Lord, looking back in my life, I see many things you have done for me, I thank you. Oh Lord, Lord, I thank you. Oh Lord. Oh, 